Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Nalule. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Nalule Energy and Minerals Consultancy. I'm a lawyer by profession and an international expert when it comes to energy and mining law. I am a holder of a PhD in International Energy Land Policy from the University of Dundee. So right now I'm in South Sudan. Our consulting firm that is named Energy was contracted by the Minister of Mining to develop the energy transition strategy for the extractive sector of South Sudan. This is a project that is being funded by the African Development Bank. And in this strategy, we want to look at various ways on how South Sudan can transition in a low carbon economy. But most importantly, given the fact that the country is experiencing a lot of energy access challenges, then it's also important to look at the role of the extractive industries, including the role of the petroleum sector and the role of the mining sector. So this is going to be a unique energy transition plan because in it, we're going to also closely pay extra attention to the mining sector and to the petroleum sector. So right now I'm in the field in Gorom and I've come to analyze the various methods used by artisanal and small-scale mining. When we arrived in Gorom, we were first introduced to the chief of the area. We introduced ourselves and I was accompanied by the staff from the Ministry of Mining. Then we went on to see the artisanal miners, especially those who are dealing in gold mining along the river. So as you're going to see in the video, the methods used by artisanal miners are basically basic methods, they are local methods. And this can be compared to the methods which are more mechanized that are being utilized by the small-scale miners. So artisan and small-scale mining generally on the African continent, it's a big issue because first it employs a lot of people. But also most importantly, when you look at countries like Ghana, like Uganda, like Kenya, they all have artisan and small scale mining. So addressing ASM is very key even when you are developing the energy transition strategy for the extractive sector. And as we're, as we're going to see, many people are dependent on the ASM sector, but however, in South Sudan, given the weather condition, the hot weather, most people work in the morning and then others work in the evening. So by the time we arrived at Gorom, it was around the afternoon time. It was very hot. So that's why you could see there are just a few people who are being involved in this activity. But if you had to compare uh, the artisanal miners and the small scale miners, you notice that it's the same method, only that for the companies that are involved in small scale mining, they involve mechanized methods, as you will see in the video. So this is just a brief about the work that we're doing in South Sudan. about the situation here between the relationship between the miners and the local community, the challenges they face and how they can be solved. All right, uh, Sultan, my name is Dr. Victoria Nalule. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Nalule Energy and Minerals Consultancy, a consulting firm that has been hired to develop the energy transition strategy for the extractive sector of the Republic of South Sudan. We're working with the Ministry of Mining, but the project is being funded by the African Development Bank. So
So today I'm carrying out for the work visit to find out the situation regarding artisanal and small scale mining uh, in your community, the challenges that are there and how those challenges can be resolved. Uh, maybe you could start by introducing yourself, your names please. Yeah, my name is Oliver Kenya and I am Morilako. I'm Shapchip. Gorom Buma Rajapayam. Here in Gorom, uh, the challenge facing us by my people who are working with the hand. It is a very heavy work. Two, uh, our relationship between companies, uh, we have uh, Kano and Queen in 2019. But up to now, we never gain anything. And these people uh, evacuate from here. So we don't know. Even their office, uh, they, 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 they never transfer the, the equipment. Machine, the machine is, is already here. But it's a very big uh, challenge that they are facing us. And meanwhile, the people say that Gorom has been gold, my uh, companies, but no companies working. Two companies, uh, which is Kano and Queen, uh, plus that uh, foreign B. Israel men come, but I uh, start work, nothing given to the community. Only uh, one car uh, given. But that time we say that let us, uh, let uh, approve for us a uh, school, uh, health center, nothing. Afterwards, we just come and see the government brought security there. Up to now, uh, the security is there now. But we don't know. We are a civilian here in the, in, in the village. Or Buma, we don't know what happened to Israel men. And that company is now uh, uh, in administered by the uh, Minister of Security, uh, which we call uh, Isaac Mamur, up to now, nobody asked about that company. Okay. Do these companies employ the local people? Do they give them jobs? Pardon? The companies, the, the companies that are working here, do they work with the local people, the local community? They, they, they are working with, by, by machines, not, not local, not, not local. Okay. by their machine. But the machine is already there. Mm -hmm. hey. They never take the machine. The machine is already there. Ugali no, a sherry kara. Aye. Guy, the shekel nasta bela tena nasta mahali kira. Ozi, that was These people, they can employ people, but after a few months, they evacuate. No longer. Okay, and what do you think should be done? to ensure that the community benefits from the minerals here? How can the community benefit? What we need, we need the Minister of Mining to see the problem. If company never function, let him go back and brought some people to come. Okay. Another company to, not to delay us and and brought us uh, facing in the village. Meanwhile, the people say that uh, we have a goal. Even me, myself, some people say that she have many goals, uh, goal in his house, but nothing. Uh, so this challenge is facing us here in, the, in Gorom. Okay. And then also you have mentioned about the issue of uh, developmental infrastructure like schools and hospitals. You think that should be the focus when the companies come, the local communities 
those are some of the things that they would need to see from the to get from the from their minerals. So we 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 have uh, my, my 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 children there in Juba. Uh, we have Marcelo. Uh, those are elected to uh, to see the, the 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 companies. But if companies come and well, afterwards they are going, no nothing will be will be given to us. So we need this. We, we, we request this. But no any company come and work. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Sultan. Is there anything else that you would like us to emphasize in the report? Anything from your community that you would think should be emphasized in the report that we want to produce? So in the Gaja Tani, there to Unis, there to be for the Kalamita Unis, the Kulu, the Fumaluma Tani, there to be for Ajada, the Amuk and the Beef of Ada. So, what I need from the Ministry of Mining, let them send us another people or a good geologist or a company to come and move those, the former, those who are not working, be returned back okay. to their place. So that for us to benefit, even the schools, I held center we don't have. You see this road, but the road is for the public, not for the all particular for the community, but it is for the public. But we need a road to be maintained. You see from, from the president's garden, the shortest place. From here up to here, you see? When the rain comes, the people are suffering, facing difficulties. All right. What we need, finally, we need you to support us with those people who are come and deceive us. Because we are blind in mind. But we can talk. So nothing will be solved to us. And what kind of support would you need if uh, an NGO would like to support? What kind of support would you need? Many support. NGOs, we need support, agriculture. Okay. We need school first. <laughs> Hospital. Water, the people are now trying to give us a water slowly, slowly. Yeah. So as you see, okay. we have, uh, they are now functioning now. Water now, but what we need, uh, roads to be maintained, brought to us. And we need our women also to be taught. Okay. So we cannot forget the women. Hmm? So we need women also to be taught because we have uh, so many women here okay. in Gorom Boma. Hmm. So I, I told you about agriculture. Yeah, you've taught, you've taught. Yeah. You've taught. But the uh, chronic one, mm. which is like malaria, kettle, kettle, problem of kettles. Oh. This is a basic us. This is a chronic malaria. How is Pro it a problem? Kettle keepers are not keeping uh, their, their kettles well. Okay. 
So all this uh, report is coming around uh, all over the South Sudan, particularly in uh, Juba County. It is too bad. So we are facing. You see, uh, you see me uh, come here from from garden. So I'm protecting my crops okay. about kettles. Uh, thank you very much, Susan. Uh, all the things you have mentioned will be noted in our report. We thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I also welcome you. Uh, let God bless you. Thank you. And it's not the first time. So last time, uh, anytime you will come and see us also. Yes. And uh, all things will be given to God. Yes. Almighty God will solve any problem. All right. So thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Strategy for the extractive sector of South Sudan. So please look out for the report. Look out for more work from our team, the consultant, because we're going to do extensive research, extensive reports regarding the extractive sector in, in, in South Sudan and also its role in the energy transition. Please be updated, keep updated. We remain and remain Dr. Victoria Nalole the CEO of Nalole Energy and Minerals Consultancy. Thank you very much.